are getting our veggie fix from ketchup and potatoes. Well, not anymore. I'm Alex Wiener, and I'm here to find out how to incorporate more produce into my diet. So let's go behind the burner and meet the nutritionist. I'm here with nutritionist Martha McKittrick. Martha, I want to incorporate more fruits and vegetables into my diet, but I'm not sure how to do it. Do you have any tips for me? Okay, Alex, you're not alone. The typical person does not eat enough fruits and vegetables. Actually, the most common vegetables that we eat would be potatoes, ketchup, and iceberg lettuce. We want to focus on dark green vegetables and the bright yellow or orange vegetables. They have the most nutrition. So my first tip for you would be to take advantage of the local produce that's in season. You're going to get more nutrition, it's going to cost less, and they're going to taste great. So what fruits and vegetables are in season right now? Okay, right now with the vegetables, the squash are in season. You can get some really good winter squash, acorn squash, broccoli, cabbage, pears, plums, blackberries, raspberries, bananas. So you have a lot of different products you can take advantage of. Now, I would recommend to experiment. I think a lot of times we get caught up in eating the same fruit to the same vegetables. Take a walk down your produce aisle in the supermarket. Experiment. Get something different. Now, do I have to eat my vegetables raw? Do I have to steam them? Is there something else I could do to make them taste better? That's a good question. A lot of people are really busy, and when they buy fresh vegetables or fruit, it tends to go bad by the time they eat it. Right. So as a backup, you could do some frozen vegetables. They tend to be just about as nutritious as fresh. So stock up on frozen vegetables in case your fresh vegetables go bad. Another tip I would have would be to keep the fruits and vegetables out in view. If you keep them hidden in your refrigerator, you may not see them. So put a bowl of fruit on your kitchen table, cut up some vegetables, keep it in your refrigerator ready to eat, and just grab on and run for a snack. Right, that's a great tip. You just keep your fruits and vegetables right in front of you and then you can grab them whenever you're hungry. I also recommend that people take some vegetables to work. Instead of running to the vending machine to get some kind of junky snack, if you pack a bag of baby carrots or grapes or um, cherry tomatoes, bring it to work with you, you can munch on those instead of having something that's not so healthy. Well, Martha, I have a big salad for lunch every day and it's getting really boring. What's in your salad, Alex? Iceberg lettuce, cucumbers, and carrots. Okay, we could use a little work on your salad. Okay. It's a good start, but you, I would recommend you use a different kind of a, a base. Use a darker green like a spinach or even a romaine. That's going to give you more nutrients. And you want to add to your salad. Take advantage of these salad places where you can add the ingredients in and throw in some colored vegetables. Throw in some tomatoes, maybe some broccoli, some asparagus, some Brussels sprouts. Make it more colorful and you'll get in a lot more vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Now what about when I go out to dinner and my dish comes with a side of potatoes? What can I do to make that better? Okay, a lot of restaurants serve starch as a side dish, which is fine, but I would recommend that you ask maybe instead of the starch to get a double portion of vegetables. Okay. That way you can get in some broccoli or some broccoli rub or spinach and you can get in a lot more nutrition. Finally, dessert. How can I make that better? Okay, instead of reaching for the cheesecake or the chocolate cake, try and get something that's fruit based. You could get berries, or you could get a baked apple or a poached pear, and you'll be getting more nutrition and less fat and fewer calories than if you were to get a rich dessert. Martha, those are great tips. Now I've got my homework cut out for me. Stay tuned to Behind the Burner. 